In this podcast episode, Robert Kennedy Jr. opens up about his life and struggles with addiction, shedding light on his childhood growing up in a prominent political family. He recalls the excitement and chaos that surrounded his family when his uncle was elected president, with helicopters landing on their football field and high-profile guests visiting their home. However, tragedy struck when his uncle was assassinated in 1963, deeply affecting his family. His father, who was the attorney general at the time, went through a period of intense grief and questioning of his beliefs, which had a profound impact on Robert. Robert turned to heroin as a way to cope with his struggles, becoming a high-functioning addict using heroin to calm his ADHD symptoms and excel academically. Despite his success, heroin eventually took over his life, leading to a 14-year addiction. He describes the demoralizing experience of being unable to keep promises to himself and the destructive nature of addiction on his relationships and sense of self. After being arrested in 1983, Robert finally sought help for his addiction, undergoing a spiritual realignment during his recovery. Robert reflects on the transformative nature of recovery, emphasizing the importance of self-reflection, ethics, and spiritual growth in overcoming addiction. He draws inspiration from the lives of saints and the concept of synchronicity, sharing a story from Carl Jung's book about a patient dreaming of a scarab beetle, only for the beetle to fly into the room during their session. He highlights the role of authentic spiritual experiences in guiding his recovery journey and reshaping his identity. The conversation shifts to Robert's views on marriage and divorce as a practicing Catholic. He shares his personal experience with divorce and how he reconciled his faith with his decisions regarding marriage, emphasizing the importance of self-examination and seeking guidance from others to grow and improve as a person. Robert also discusses a recent political event where members of his family publicly endorsed Joe Biden over him, expressing his disappointment but choosing to see it as a learning experience and a test of his resilience. Robert talks about his efforts to secure Secret Service protection for his presidential campaign, sharing the challenges he has faced in dealing with security threats and the financial burden it has placed on his campaign. He also discusses the politicization of law enforcement agencies under the Biden administration and the implications of such actions on democracy and freedom of speech. Robert criticizes the current administration for not taking decisive action to secure the U.S.-Mexico border, highlighting the need to complete the border wall and implement policies like the Migrant Protection Act to address the influx of migrants effectively. When it comes to abortion, Robert advocates for leaving the decision up to the woman, emphasizing the importance of bodily autonomy and trusting individuals to make their own choices. He acknowledges the complexity of the issue and the emotional toll it can take on women, but ultimately believes in trusting women to make decisions about their own bodies. He also addresses the chronic disease epidemic affecting American children, attributing it to factors like poor diet and environmental toxins, and criticizing government agencies like the NIH for not prioritizing real science to address the root causes of these diseases. The podcast delves into Robert's personal life, highlighting his family and the pride he takes in his children. He reflects on the importance of family and the support he receives from his wife, Cheryl, expressing gratitude for his children and their resilience in the face of challenges.